Hi, this is Lauren Malhoyt with Network Storage. Uh, today's video, we are going to review how to uh, set up boot LUNs if you're planning on booting from SAN. So you might be, you use this for any kind of physical server, but um, especially if you're trying to maintain uh, stateless computing using, you know, Cisco UCS B-series blades and mm -hmm. such things. Um, so I get a lot of questions on how you actually set it up in the array so that it will recognize it. And all right, so we're in the storage section. We'll go to LUNs, and here we are. We'll go ahead and create a new LUN. And this is going to be our actual boot LUN. I'm going to leave all of this as default, but of course you can change, you know, whatever SP you want to go to, if you want it to be out of your storage pool or RAID group, etc. cetera. Um, just however you would create a, a LUN in general. Um, and then I'm going to give it four gigs because, you know, maybe we're putting ESXi on it from VMware and you know that doesn't take up much more space probably 4 to 10 gigs is a pretty good amount for that um, you can give it a different one ID if you like you can create several if you have you know four or five servers that you want to um, do the boot from sand thing from um, but we're just gonna do one for the sake of this video and we'll apply One is being created. One zero was created successfully. Now I can get out of here. We can see my lawn is created right there. And now we will actually go to our storage groups. Now, <clears throat> if we're going to do boot from SAM, we need to create a storage group for each physical server. Um, so if you have four blades in your chassis, then we're going to create four storage groups, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll call this, um, you know, ESXi11, and we'll just say that's the name of one of my hosts, and click OK. And click Yes. And I'm going to add a LUN to it. And we're going to add the one that we just created, one zero. Click add, click OK. And that will add one zero to my ESXi 11 storage group. And again, ESXi 11 is the name of one of my hosts. Um, and then from here, we can actually connect hosts too. Uh, I don't have any hosts right now to, to connect. All of these are already um, in storage groups, but if I were, I would, you know, select the one I wanted to put into the storage group, uh, bring it to the right here and click apply. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because that might screw things up, but that is how you would connect that host. And now when you go through and add, um, or when you try to install your operating system, your uh, one should appear as one of the options to, as a drive to install to. Um, of course, you know, there are various things involved with creating boot policies. Um, you either probably have to go into the BIOS if you're just doing regular physical server. If you're using UCS Manager, you would go into the boot policy and, and create your connections there. And you, of course, you'll have to make sure your zoning is all correct. But if you can see data stores already from your, you know, if it is a VMware ESXi server, then, you know, you're probably cor connected correctly. But that's it. So yeah, for each, um, for each host, we create a new one, and we'll call it ESXi12 in this case, and that represents a new host. And then we would go in, and we'd add, you know, another one. If I created another boot one, then we would add that here. And that's how it knows that 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 boot one is for that host specifically. Um, usually you do want to make the host, let's see if we can go and show that here. You want the host ID to be zero. So make sure you specify that. Um, generally, the best practice is to make the host one ID zero. And that will um, also help specify that it is the boot one. With VMware, it could be basically the lowest numbered one, um, but with like Microsoft or Linux, it definitely needs to be one zero. And since it is the host ID, it's per storage group. So you will be able to change that. Um, they can all be zero within their own storage group. So um, that's it for now. And please leave your 
feedback or questions in, in the comments section. And thanks for watching.